This video has it all. All the details on how to get Fox Lamp and a miniature PvP breakdown on the ins and outs of Fox Lamp, the brand new sword. And of course, we got a spicy discovery already on day one that you can use to counter this sword in PvP. If you already have Fox Lamp, click the timestamp below to skip straight to the PvP breakdown because usually this channel is all about getting into the nitty gritty, the deep details, the nerd stuff. Let's get things started. Now to get this sword, you're gonna have to go to Tiki Outpost. Okay, in order to get Kitsune Shrine to spawn, you need to have somebody in the six danger zone by the time the full moon spawns. I've had the best luck with joining a private server and then the last day cycle before the full moon, head out to the sixth danger level. You can spawn Kitsune Shrine solo. Once you're ready to go and the moon is full, talk to the rock with E and start the event. And pretty cool cutscene plays and you're ready to go. Now you've got five minutes to capture as many Azure Embers as you can and offer them to the Kitsune Shrine. It seems like you get a random item anywhere from a title to fragments to an aura to accessories and of course the Fox Lamp. I turned in 16 and got the Fox Lamp first try, but it doesn't seem consistent. So the Azure Embers spawn and they start to run away from you as you approach them. I recommend you use a fast fruit. I used Awakened Phoenix Flight and had some pretty good success. A couple people I was doing it with used Kitsune because the transformation is super fast. But note that if you spawn the Azure Embers in the center of the island, they can go through walls. So I recommend standing kind of outside the island near the water and you'll see the embers start to spawn in the open area and they'll be easier to chase. If you do not have enough to turn in and you try to talk to the Kitsune Shrine, it'll say it's displeased with your offering. I recommend trying at least 10, but 16 worked for me. But your mileage may vary. You have to turn in the Azure Flames for a reward before the timer's up. Otherwise, you can't turn them in again until the island spawns again. Note that once you get the Fox Lamp, in order to upgrade it, you need 10 additional Azure Embers, plus scrap metal, plus 10 Magma Cores. Overall, it's a pretty new event, so there's probably some stuff we haven't uncovered, but I wanted to give you as much details as we had right now, so hopefully you get Fox Lamp right away. Now that you have the sword, let's dive straight into the PvP aspects of Fox Lamp. Overall, Fox Lamp has some strong pros. Huge hitboxes, instinct breaking combo starters, combo extenders for days, and the most important thing, a combo starter that keeps them in place while you can still act. That is what makes this sword absolutely busted. But cons wise, there are a few issues, like the moves are easily Kentrick, the range is pretty limited to close or mid range, and of course, there's a super secret Kentrick counter that I can't wait to show you. Remember, with the new enchantments, the numbers are subject to change. So so just be mindful of the base cooldowns and that they can differ by plus or minus two to three seconds. With that in mind, let's get it. Fox Lamp Z sends a circular projectile wherever you aim it with a cooldown of nine seconds. You fire a circle of blue fireballs in front of you and it hits the first person it comes in contact with. The initial hit of this move breaks instant. If hit, several projectiles run through the opponent with the last hit exploding them and sending them fairly unpredictably. They're stunned for two seconds after impact. The whole time, you could just walk around and cast other spells. It's like Portal Z in a sword, like what the f Again, this move breaks instinct, but the projectile Projectiles that run through you can be Kentrick. There is end lag, but it's very little, so while they could punish you on whiff, it's not easily punished like Grav Cane does. However, it's an incredible combo starter or extender because you could stun the opponent when they're in other moves like Soul Guitar X, God Human X, or Rumble C. Offense wise, this move can be used after God Human C to extend the combo. I could see the future now. This is going to be one of the most abused swords in the game in PvP. It comes out almost instantaneously and travels so fast, it's like the spiky trident if it only stunned the user in place instead of bringing them to you. The fact that you can move while the opponent is stuck in the animation makes this sword, in my opinion, the strongest sword in the game. The combo potential is endless. It's like if Soul Guitar X was more precise and it didn't blind you. Or like Kabucha X, but the user stays relatively in the same space. And it's a sword. This is a Blocks Fruit main's dream. Defense-wise, Kentrick after the initial hit, and you should be able to get out of the remaining move. You can technically dodge this move if it's not a direct hit as well. I don't think it's ever really worth keeping your instinct on in neutral, especially at high-level PvP. The hitbox is not as massive as like Gravity Cane, so as soon as you see the user lifting the fox lamp above their head, you can most likely flash step or teleport on reaction and then try to punish him. There's also a super sneaky Kentrick counter that you can do. If you Kentrick, your opponent might think that you're still stunned in the move, and then you could throw out a move to counter, turning the situation from disadvantage to advantage state. Quick recap on the defenses. Try to dodge or move away when you see them raise the fox lamp. If you do get hit, Kentrick after the first hit. Moving on to fox lamp X. Fox lamp X has two different behaviors depending on if you tap it or hold it, so we'll go over each one. It's a medium range dash with a cooldown of 14 seconds. And if you tap the move, you dash forward, you catch the opponent in a flamethrower that deals damage and pushes them back slowly. The dash of this move breaks instinct, but the fire can be Kentrick. When the move ends, the user can act about 0.25 seconds sooner, so there's a tiny combo window there, but it's not a guarantee. If you hold the move, however, the flames continue and the user can slowly turn left or right, changing the flamethrower's direction. Once they let go, the user dashes forward, bringing the opponent with them, and they slash in a wide arc in front of them. The slash has a weird property, where it sends the opponent right in front of the 
user sometimes, but other times it'll send the user over them, kind of like with Midnight Blade X. But note that they can Kentrick the fire, so you may need to reposition before letting go to catch them with the slash. And also note that the slash does break instant. This move is a versatile combo starter or extender, but once people understand the Kentrick window, it won't feel as broken. Offense-wise, you can use the dash as a combo starter, and the ability to hold or not hold gives you a nice mix-up option. Mix-up meaning you can trick your opponents by using an option they don't really expect. Now defense-wise, here's a little bit of secret sauce. If you can trick the move while in the fire, you can spam a follow-up move, and it'll hit them before the animation ends. As you can see here, God Human X connects before they finish the Fox Lamp fire, but any move that reaches far enough would be perfect, especially if it's a combo start. So a super quick recap on the defenses. If you get hit, can trick as you're in the fire, and then aim a move at them and spam it for a quick punch. Now we have a lot of combo potential with both moves, but before we dive into combos though, let's move on to enchantments. As a gun main, Strong Grip has been very solid. Fox Lamp is the new standard for combo starters, so cooldown reduction might be nice, but I like extra damage. You could go on real here if you prefer the shorter cooldown as a blocks or gun main, but remember you're sacrificing about 2,000 damage for a 2.8 second cooldown reduction at most on X, so it's up to you if you think it's worth it. As a sword main, Sharpshooter's decent, but it's been nerfed. In my opinion, 10% damage for 20% longer cooldown isn't worth it, when you could just go Masterpiece for a 5% damage buff, which is only 5% less, and 8% cooldown reduction, so shorter cooldown. Blessing-wise, I like Sea or Frozen. Both of them do a good job in 1v1 to either reduce their health regen to basically zero, especially against Angel V3, or to reduce their movement speed by a ton, so if they try to dash after the can trick, it becomes a lot harder for them. If you're a sword main, though, Burning does a decent chunk of extra damage, so it might be worth it, especially paired with the multi-hits that each of these swords bring. Fox Lamp, in my opinion, is one of the craziest swords to start a combo with, so I encourage you to get creative with your own combos. But well, here's a few combos Ooh. to hold you over if you're not feeling super cool. Jeez. The first combo is God Human C into Fox Lamp Z, then God Human Z into Fox Lamp X, and then finish with God Human X. The next combo is God Human C straight into Fox Lamp X, then Fox Lamp Z into God Human Z, finished with God Human X. Last one's for Sanguinar. Fox Lamp Z into Fox Lamp X, then Sanguine Z into Sanguine C, finished with Sanguine X. Let's check out some PvP. Okay, first fight's against a Flame main. Be Shark Anchors, and I go ahead and throw out Kabucha X. Open up with Fox Lamp Z. Awesome combo starter into Fox Lamp X. He God Human Zs me, but since I fall fast, he doesn't hit me with his follow-up, so I counter with my God Human Z. Right into my God Jeez. Human C and X for the kill. Round two with the mansion. I Kabucha Z. I Hail Mary Kabucha X where I think he's gonna be, and that combos perfectly into Fox Lamp Z. Right into Fox Lamp X, and he's super low. I see him behind the wall, so I go ahead and charge God Human C, and it's pretty much inevitable. GG's, Josh. And for the last fight, I decide to switch to Gun Me. We start things off with a little bit of poking. I go ahead and Fox Lamp Z, but he Quake Vs to reposition. I know he's stunned, so I immediately Fox Lamp X right into my bread and butter combo. Honestly, these moves are crazy combo starters. And that's it for the video. This is the first time we've done a comprehensive overview of a weapon. We went through how to get it and what you could do with it in PvP to become a monster, a menace, a bounty hunter that everybody hates to fight against. Really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If we missed something, which we definitely did because we did this super fast, just to make sure we get you all the details we have as soon as possible, let us know in the comments. Join our Discord if you want to 1v1 with us or join our community. As always, each video has a firm fruit giveaway, so if you're here for that, leave a comment and you might win. And we'll update the pinned comment to show who won in that video. We love these deep dive videos, so hopefully you're enjoying them as well, and we'll catch you around for the next deep dive.